Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how to download a bunch of files today and before you do, you are going to need some apps. If you're downloading fonts, you're going to want the AnyFont app. If you're downloading zipped files, which a lot of times you are, you're going to need iZip. There is a free version. Um, I have the Pro, but you can work with the free version until you get the hang of things. And the other thing you're going to want is Procreate if you are going to be downloading Procreate brushes. Procreate looks like this. Okay, so that was any font for fonts, iZip for unzipping files, and Procreate if you're going to use that. As well as, of course, you may need GoodNotes or Note Shelf or whatever other app you're using, but we're going to talk about downloading. So let's first go into Safari. You're going to type in www.etsy.com because this is how you do download your files. So you can purchase anything from Etsy in the App Store. However, if you want to download the files, you need to go to the Etsy website. Log in and then click You, Purchases and Reviews. It'll show you all of your purchases. We're going to download a handful of things here. I'm going to say Download Files. This will show you one order at a time. Okay, so this was an or another order. It's going to download those. This last order I just ordered today I'm going to down is all together. When I hit download files, it downloaded together the entire order. The first item here is two. So I'm going to click the first one, download, download again. You'll see the little file. The little arrow is jumping at me. There's a file there. Now you can download these all together, or you can do it one at a time. Let's go ahead and download them all. Download the second one. Download. You'll see this little thing is jumping at me. So there was two named Magic. One was swatches and one was a brush set. Okay, so that was one, two. The third one, download. And there's the third one. Four. And there's four, five, and there's five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five files there. Okay. Now, I have several options here. I can simply close this and go to my file folder. And they have all been downloaded into my download folder. Okay, they are all right here. If they're not here in your favorites, then look for your download folder, probably in your iCloud Drive. Same folder. That's where all my downloads went. Okay, now from here, you can click the first one. You have the option to up arrow and save the image right to your camera roll. Okay, or I'm going to click Done, or you can select and move it, move, if you want to save it into a folder, okay? Cloud, Google, wherever it is that you want to save, okay? Whatever it is you have set up. You can add a folder from here if you don't have one made already. We're just going to call it one so it comes to the very top. When I say move, that file disappeared from there and it went to my drive, one item in folder number one. Okay, back to my downloads. I moved it so it's gone from here. Let's go to the next one. It took me right to Procreate. If I click my color dot, go all the way to the bottom, Jenny Gollum Designs Magic is a color palette. That's what that was. Okay. And you can tell because it looks like a little color palette. So that one's downloaded. I can remove that or just wait till later. 
The next one is an actual Procreate brush. I'm going to click that. It did it for me. Brushes, you can test by clicking your paintbrush. And the new one will be at the very top. Jenny Gollum Designs Magic, and that's the brushes that come with that. Okay, back to my files. The next one is Papers. Those are zipped. I'm going to click on that. The zip file opened a paper when I clicked on it. Okay, eight items in that folder. Pretty Papers. Select. Select All. And I can either share so that I can save them into my camera roll or select all and move them into a file. Okay, and there they are. Back to downloads. I've downloaded that one, that one, these two go together. This one is another zip file. Let's see what that is. That is a font, tells me right there. I'm gonna click up. You're going to look for your file, your app called AnyFont. Copy to AnyFont. It was, you see all the ones that I've already downloaded have check marks. So the one that doesn't have a check mark is Jenny Gollum Designs Shelly Backhand. I'm gonna select that. Install, allow, and it tells me to go to my settings app to install. So I'm going to go into setting, down profile downloaded, install, enter your code, hit next, install, and done. Jenny Gallon Designs, Shelly Backhand is there already. Okay, so that is it, ready to use. Now these are all downloaded. I'm going to select all and delete them from my download folder. They're all downloaded. I don't need them in there. They're already saved in the folder where I put them. The Procreate files are safely loaded. There was a color palette and a brush set. Those downloaded properly as well. Don't forget to go back to your Safari, your download arrow, and clear this so that those go away as well. You want to clear your download from here as well as clear your downloads folder. Once you have them downloaded, you don't need those there. Let's see, do we want to see anything else? We did a brush and a palette, a wallpaper, an iWatch paper, which is just a, a PNG file, a font, and pretty papers. Thanks for watching.